As a buyer, when you're purchasing a property, just before you close on it, you're entitled to a final inspection. Now this inspection is really just to make sure that the home is in the same or better condition as when you went under contract. The caveat there is that the home does not have to be vacant when you conduct that inspection. I've encountered this multiple times in my career. We put a home under contract, it's almost time for closing. Buyer agent reaches out to me, says, hey, we're ready to do our final inspection. I'm like, great, no problem. They wanna go, and they're like, well, when's the buyer moving out? Or when's the seller moving out? And I'll be like, well, they're not moving out until the home is sold. Until you guys close on it, the funding takes place, the swap takes place, right? That's when ownership transfers. Oh, well, we're not gonna do the final inspection until they're moved out. <laughs> well, okay, wait a second, time out. That's not in the contract. If you want that to be a part of the contract, then when you write your offer, put in the special stipulations, buyer desires final inspection to be done prior to close once sellers have moved out. Like if you put that language into the special stipulations, then the seller knows, okay, well, I've got to move out of the property before we actually close on it. They may be willing to do that, they may not. But trying to pull a fast one as we approach the closing day, that's very disrespectful.